Hello and welcome to the 65th tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at error handling. C++ provides a means to handle runtime errors called exceptions which allow an error to be detected within a certain block of code and routing the flow to another piece of code if an error occurs instead of crashing. For example, if you try to load a file, the application could pick up an error if the file didn't exist and inform the user that the file doesn't exist. This is useful obviously because you do not want your application to crash. You just provide an alternate, alternate route for your application and like I said in this example, you're just going to tell the user what's happened. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And we're not going to actually create a class in this one. First time we're not creating a class for quite a few, few, few tutorials. And we're going to use, so the syntax is you use the keyword try. Basically it's saying let's try some code. Then you put curly braces. And then in here you put the, the code that you want for error handling. So we're going to put throw one. And throw one just basically throws an error. And the reason we're going to throw an error explicitly is so you can see what happened, but otherwise you'll put something here and if it failed, then you will just get into the catch block, which we're going to implement now. Catch basically catches the error, which we are explicitly going to throw, so we know that an error is going to occur. And we're just going to put int error, and this error will actually be one. And if we do std. We do std the error and we can do std and line wrap and we get one and that's okay and you might think okay you uh, understand it a little bit but let's just try and give you a better example so if you have a variable say int i make it equal to nine yeah then you could in the try if I if if I is less than ten, then it's a okay. So we can perform some functionality. So what we could do is just we're just gonna print out I. So we're gonna do I std and line. Else we could throw this exception. If we run it. We get nine, but if we change this to eleven, run it. We get one. Here's another better example. I'm not going to implement it, but it's going to talk about it. In division, you don't divide by zero. If you put that into a calculator, try it. If you if you got some time, you'll get an error. And if you do it in an application, and if your application doesn't have the proper error handling for it, whether it's via try catch block or whether it's something else, just simple if else statements your application will crash. What you could do in here is do a try and if you get an error or some sort of problem you'll catch the error and then you won't do the division. So that's a pretty cool thing that you can do. That's it for this part of the series. The next part we're going to look at preprocessor macro definitions. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at songnowsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.